Okay, in yesterday's class, um, we were studying about uh, algorithms using pseudocodes, fixed iterations. And um, now we need to continue uh, with algorithms using pseudocodes for conditional iterations. Okay, so we will going to use the same resource. We can uh, go to the website and now uh, we can go to O level section and once you will be in O level section, you can uh, download uh, the page. Yeah, paper two notes. So once you will uh, download this paper two notes, you will get um, this document. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this document. Uh, we uh, have done format one, means how to use for next loop uh, to solve such problems which have fixed number of iterations, input 500 cars, okay? And we have also learned that how to uh, use um, format two using while and while. So format one, format two, format three means for next while and while repeat until we have used all the three kind of loops, iterations for fixed number of inputs. When I say fixed number of inputs, it's mean when we know how many times we need to input the data in a program. By reading the question, you can simply find out, for example, if we have a program here, the weather condition in a town uh, are being monitored over a year, 365, the values recorded per day as weather type and temperature. Uh, we know that the input variables will be weather type and temperature and how many times we need to input them? 365 times. It's mean we will going to use for next, that's the preferable loop. But we can also use while and while repeat until, but for fixed number of iterations, which we learned in the previous class, which you can uh, uh, watch the video again. Okay, today's task is to um, to yeah uh, to solve the questions which does not have the fixed number of inputs. Just me, I mean, नहीं पता के input कितनी दफा होगा. हमें कोई ना कोई condition दी हुई होगी. There will be a condition, and that condition will going to stop the input. जब तक हम वो value input नहीं करेंगे, वो rogue value input नहीं करेंगे, तब तक हमारा loop चलता रहेगा. ठीक है? For example, supermarket के अंदर जो sale person है उसको नहीं पता कि जो customer है वो कितने जो है वो goods लेकर आ रहा और वो उनको checkout करता रहेगा, करता रहेगा और जब उसको अपने प्रोसेस को खत्म करना होगा तो वो एंड लास्ट में आइटम का नाम इनपुट नहीं करेगा एंड इनपुट कर देगा ई एन टी एंड और लूप चलना रुक जाएगा और वो सारे कैलकुलेशन परफॉर्म होंगी और रिसेप्ट जो है वो आपके आउटपुट होकर प्रिंट होकर आपको मिल जाएगी सो इन सच सीनारियोज वी हैव टू यूज दी कंडीशनल लूप्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल दैट आर जस्ट गिवन और इट कुड बी सम एग्जाम्पल लाइक यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन बिलो दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल in which uh, they have mentioned that um, uh, input every item sold during the day okay, I'm just talking about here. and use an item called end in the second line you can see that use an item called end end to finish the day's input or in a, another question we can say that write down algorithm using pseudo code of flowchart which input set of positive numbers which ends with minus one. So minus one is required to end the input. If you will going to keep, you know, uh, if you just keep um, posting the positive values, it will not stop. But as soon as the user will going to input minus one, the loop will stop, uh, will stop. Okay. So how to solve such question using uh, while and while and re repeat until both. Okay. Let's try to solve the question um, 
uh, by keeping the format in front of us uh, the question is um, let's pick this question number seven uh, input set of positive numbers which ends with minus one output the average mean value of the input numbers uh, all right so this is the question uh, let's copy this question let's put it on the notepad like this let's make it short um, like this all right there's a question and uh, there's a format it's in front of us this is the question let's drag it a little bit there we go okay so format two is in front of us and we need to solve uh, this question input a set of positive numbers which ends with minus one so this is the condition output the average mean value let's solve it one by one declaration uh, just like we have discussed before only arrays record uh, required declaration in uh, in pseudocodes initialization all the variables all the important variables are required to be initialized at the top so we will going to uh, leave some space for the initialization input variable so in conditional loops you are noticing that and using this while and while loop and if we don't know the fixed number of inputs when the condition is given the input will be done before just before the loop Whereas uh, yesterday when we were doing the questions uh, for the fixed notation, the input is like always coming after the loop, okay? After the first looping statement, after for, after while, after uh, repeat. But right now input is coming before. So um, input variable, what should be the variable? Input set of positive numbers. Uh, we need to leave some space for the initialization. Let's start writing from here input uh, pnum you can name your variable anything i'm just doing it as a pnum while condition so i'm just following the format while condition is variable is not as equal to condition so variable is pnum is not as equal to minus one just keep iterating until pnum is uh, minus one okay so after that total uh, do we need totaling output the average mean value of the uh, input numbers output the value of the largest highest number input so we need to do two things for the average we need to do the total thing as well so this will be done total they have asked us total of numbers so the positive numbers will be output will be total counting with condition uh, there is no counting with condition required uh, output decisions there is no output decisions required here in this question extreme values yes they have asked us about the largest highest number so this means that we need to do the um, so we already know that if p num greater than high then i is equal to now p num the name of the variable so extreme values are done counting the numbers of attrition as we don't know how many times we have uh, input the numbers because we have uh, been asked with the with the average and we have done the total if we are using the conditional loop for average we also need to do this you can call it count you can call it c you can call it anything so this thing is required to be done and we are just following the format input variable it is also required to be done so input the same variable again p now and while 
and average average will be total divided by c why c because this c this counter will going to keep counting how many times you have iterated this while and while loop this will going to keep that check and this is how we're going to do that total divided by the number of times the value is being input the total number of values so this is a little bit different than uh, than the fixed iteration loops because there is a condition in conditional questions this thing will become a little bit different percentage is not required output average and output the extreme values variable that we use as high after writing the code we went to the initialization part uh, total is required to be initialized with zero um, c is required to be initialized with zero um, and high is required to be initialized with minus thousand if it would be low or lowest it would be plus thousand okay so this is how we solve the problem using conditional statements so this is the one question that we have done um, you can solve the other question for the practice uh, or I can give you one more example here uh, what if you need to uh, solve the same question using repeat until for the conditional loops or we can say format 3 for condition based questions for example like uh, it's been mentioned here. So if we need to uh, bring the same question here, if we like put it in front of us, or just um, if we can cut it out, or we can just, um, yeah. If we need to solve the same question using format 3. There we go. The only change that you will observe that uh, using while and while for conditional statements, you have to do input twice. Same thing goes if you, you if you're using while and while for the validation as well, you need to do input twice. Repeat until you can observe. Uh, we just need to do input once, but just before the until part. So the reason is this because um, if we're using while and while, you cannot start the loop. You cannot start the loop without giving it a condition. So what is this pnum is? So we have to input once just before the while loop, so you can start the while loop. Once the while loop is started. And once you're inside the loop, or once this whole thing has been done, we just input again here. All right. So after taking this input, you went up again here and you check the condition that if this P num is minus one or not. If it's not, then you again come inside and you start running the program. Now, this input will be done only once, just before for the first iteration. But the loop, the um, the input which is inside while and while this one it will be uh, input again and again until you input the value which is required to be fulfilled like for example minus one so that's the reason uh, in repeat until uh, let's try to solve the same question it's quite easy declaration we leave some part for the initialization um, repeat And then, you know, totaling just we uh, did in the previous class. This is not required. This is not required. Extreme values just we did in the previous uh, uh, question. Uh, C is equal to C plus one. And input P num until P num is, is equal to minus and the condition always become opposite and repeat under and then average will be done same way 
output average and high will be done same way and all the in, uh, variables will be done same way so try to solve this question by yourself and try to solve um, other conditional questions for example uh, there's this is a question it's not difficult you can uh, solve it the condition will be while um, item not is equal to end and um, then there are past paper questions okay so we have done with the conditional questions and we have done with the fixed operation questions and we have done with all of the looping structures as well now uh, there is one another thing which is important uh, to learn is uh, to change in between um, the if statements and the case statements we're going to talk about later uh, try, now because what is the reason that we are trying to solve this question is because definitely yes in paper uh, they can even ask you to uh, make a program, make a pseudocode, uh, write a pseudocode uh, according to some uh, question. So they can ask you to write an algorithm using pseudocode. Uh, further, uh, there is a, always a chance, like once you will be good with the, writing the pseudocodes, this mean omitting out errors is like easy for you. That's like piece of cake. Um, so most of the kids, I have done this question in our classes. Let's pick anyone. Kusna, yeah, you can see that. Uh, your right algorithm using pseudocode for next loop structure uh, and input 100 numbers into an array. So we need to know about the array as well. Probably we're going to take another class for that. And rewrite the program code for the improvements. Um, Okay. Before this question, let's solve this question. This is a little bit trickier. We also need to know about the validation as well. So that's a really important topic to be covered. Uh, we have done in uh, like our most of the classes. Uh, I remember that because we have uh, screenshot those things uh, with us that we have performed in the previous classes. Uh, validation, iteration, home fix. So this is what we have done, I guess, a um, few days back. Example, input age, age must be in between 12 and 25. And we have taken two examples. Uh, we have taken example of we can use if statement. Uh, we can uh, use uh, the while statement for validation. And we can also use the repeat. Uh, validation and I've put the cross on the if because if is not rec recommended because once you are going to input the wrong value it will going to accept the wrong value if, if you're gonna make mistake again but using while and while and repeat until uh, it will keep iterating the code until you will going to input the right value so uh, this is a validation um, so for this question here uh, if you just ask me, I can even send you this picture uh, over the WhatsApp in your respective groups. Uh, talk to me, speak, come out, uh, put down the queries so I can come uh, come to know that you people are watching the videos and you're working and working hard for the papers. All right. So um, we were talking about uh, to solve a question. Let's close these because we have done with that. Or just in case, I guess we should take a screenshot of it if you people need it in any case. Yeah, save it. And put it into the same folder. Let's call it conditional. We are doing it so we can share it with uh, you over the WhatsApp group. Okay, there it goes. And let's close it now. Just keep it. Let's close this one. Yeah, so this is the question. Read the section of the program code. That this is a past paper question. This is October, November, 
uh, 2016 variant could be mentioned somewhere. No, it's not mentioned, but it's a part of the question. Uh, read the section of the program code that inputs positive numbers, discard any negative numbers, and then output the average. And input of zero ends the process. It's mean it's a conditional uh, program. They have given us an uh, um, a condition. There are no fixed number of inputs, so it's mean that we need to use either while and while or repeat until. We have used this repeat until, and until num is equal to zero, and input of zero ends the input. So far, it looks good. Okay, and um, if if you ask me to write down the code for this thing immediately without looking into the errors. Uh, I would be like doing it something like this using while and while or repeat until because it's a conditional uh, Because they have used repeat we can even do that. And let's try to just find out the errors right now at the moment So the repeat until is uh, used now if that is used what this repeat is doing here this another repeat until Is it a mistake? No, it's not a mistake. Actually, it's doing this the, um discard any negative numbers it's doing the validation all right so validation is done it's mean like if you will going to input a number which is uh it's it's like um it's um not zero it's less than zero it will going to ask you to input again and it will keep iterating you you will be like you will be moving in between here until or unless you will going to Input the valid number means number that must be greater than zero. Um, so before emitting the errors, let's try to code this program for the better understanding. Into Visual Basic. Let's code this. Guys, if you will be able to uh, solve these questions uh, using this Visual Basic 2010, uh, I always say this in my class, that if you have executed every code in a programming language, you can pick Python, you can pick Visual Basic, you can, there are other languages, but uh, it's not required because they're uh, not part of our syllabus. Uh, CAIE recommended uh, four languages, uh, Perl, Pascal, Python, and Visual Basic in which Python and Visual Basic are the more uh, most practical ones. And uh, Visual Basic is the language which is more near to the pseudocode, so it's like always recommended. So what I was saying that if you will be able to solve all this question in Visual Basic, you guys will going to have an A static for sure. So I highly recommend that all the programming, the pseudocodes that you do, you also practice them over the Visual Basic. So you can also download the Visual Basic from uh, my page. Uh, I've uh, just, you know, uh, put down the whole, um, the link for it. This this thing is uh, on my drive. So just click here, you just download it and install it. Uh, you simply have to go to Facebook and you have to search O-Level Computer Science and you just need to come here on this page. Or just ask me over the WhatsApp, I can send you the link for uh, this download. Uh, for programs, you can go to GitHub, just like in case if uh, uh, you're feeling a little bit difficulty in how to write on write on the program, you can go to these repositories. And you can always find some programs here. Uh, there are two programs, array validation for next. Uh, we haven't uploaded many programs for the O levels. I will going to do that uh, because mostly uh, in O levels, you do not need to write down the code. Uh, so for the practice purposes, still I will. There are two programs for the practice, but I will gonna upload more. Uh, rather in AS and A2, we have a number of programs because um, students have to write on the programs. Okay, but just focus on O level. Don't go to other repositories. Uh, they they are like uh, difficult questions out of the scope of the syllabus for O levels. So programs, you have the link. Uh, do it VB. And um, let's do it. I've just copied the, you know, the the program. I'm just going to paste it here. 
uh, even though I guess I, we do not need to write paste the whole just need to know about the question that's it let's do it all by ourselves why it's not copying come on why I'm missing this all right This is the question. Just turn them into comments. Read the section of the program code that input positive numbers. Seriously, something weird is going on here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, numbers is card any okay? Positive numbers discard any negative numbers and then output the average. And output zero ends the process. Now. Let's try down the program. Um, so we know that we need to input positive numbers. So input POS and you have, if this is what I'm going to write down in pseudocode, in Visual Basic, I have to write down something like this. POS and you have, As equal to console dot reline. Now, there is a difference between Visual Basic and uh, pseudocode, but nothing to worry. Nothing to worry, because uh, if you will, go, if you guys will going to ask me, I'll just give you this small little piece of script, a page, which only few instructions, just few instructions, you should be able to know. That if in pseudocode, if you're writing input variable, it's it should be written like variable is equal to console.pyline. If in pseudocode you're writing print enter marks, or instead of print, you can write down output, you cannot uh, write down write, you can write down console.write enter marks. Output average, comma. So everything is like given here. It's been declared, it's been mentioned, it's been you know pointed out. So uh, this is a whole difference between Visual Basic and pseudocode. That's it. So you can transform any pseudocode into, into Visual Basic using this chart. So I'm going to give you this chart if you need it. Um, so uh, we need to input positive numbers. Negative numbers should be discarded. Output the average. For our average, we already know that. We need to do this total thing. Total is equal to total plus plus <clears throat> plus positive number okay after total what we need to do it's a conditional program so we need to do that let's use repeat until for repeat for repeat in visual basic bit i don't do I'm going to just put it there in a form of uh, comments so you guys can have an idea. Repeat. Repeat is anything that is in green, it's a comment. It's ignored by this uh, programming language compiler. This is for us people to understand, okay? So I'm just writing down uh, the whole program in a form of pseudocode in front so you people can have, a, have an idea how to convert the pseudocode program into Visual Basic as well. Just let, let me write down the whole pseudocode alongside with it. Yeah. Okay, repeat. Input positive number. And total. We use a assignment operator. This is the only difference. Uh, total. Plus positive. I'm just writing it down in a form, in a form of pseudocode as well. So do loop until. So 
if we could have written down here in pseudocode, it would be like um, and No, no, until um, what would be the condition? Pause number is equal to minus one. What is the condition? Uh, An input of zero ends. So, okay, zero. So loop until pause num is equal to zero. Okay, so you people can see that uh, there are some lines uh, under these things. So why they are there? Because in, in a programming language in Visual Basic, we need to declare these variables as well. In pseudocode, we do not need to do that. Okay, in pseudocode, we only need to declare an array with a suitable data type. But in Visual Basic, in the programming language, a program must need to know what this POSNUM is, what this TOTAL is, uh, because the programming language know about these statements. These are the programming statements. These are the loops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The variable names are given by us, right? So we need to declare them. So for um, declaration, we write write down dim. Then we write write down the name of the variable as integer. Uh, you know, you should know about the data types. Uh, let's declare them within the main program. We, beside, we really don't need to know about the main program or the sub programs right now. Okay. And total. Total is another variable. This should be also declared as integer. So you people should know about the integer, string, values, and all that. Okay. Uh, it's been declared. Now look, everything is clear. So I'll be done with the program, that's it. Input positive numbers, do the total thing, and output the average. Because it's a conditional loop, we know that we might be needing one another variable. It's like, uh, let's call it uh, counter as integer. Uh, we, need to do, we need to do this. Okay, now it will going to create a problem because We also need to keep our yeah intact. So counter is equal to counter plus one. All right. In pseudocode, you just have to write down in the same fashion. Uh, counter is equal to is equal to counter plus one. All right. So, do we need to do something else? I guess yes, we need to calculate the average. Average is equal to total divided by um, counter. And then we need to do output average. So, in the Visual Basic, console dot right line average. That's it. This is it. All right. So program is like almost done. And uh, it could be like if we would have written down the pseudocode, it could have gone like this. Absolutely. Now you people can see that there is no major difference in Visual Basic and pseudocode. Only minor changes. Instead of console dot write time. I'm going to write down output. All right. Output average. This is it. Okay, we're forget, forgetting about one thing, the initialization part. Total is required to be initialized with zero. Anything else required to be initialized? Uh, average? No, I don't think so. Anything else is required to be initialized. So this is it. Our program is done. But, but. The validation part. Um, they have asked us to make sure that only positive numbers are entered. So for that, 
we need to do the validation uh, on the input part exactly here to be precise so how are we going to do the validation uh, using repeat until just like uh, Just over the input, and uh, yeah, this is the validation will be do. Look, validation is like always done over the input. Valid. What does validation means? We need to input data on, uh, according to some certain amount of rules. The rule is we need to make sure that the numbers must be positive. Now, any number which is not uh, positive, it's a negative number. It will be number discard any negative numbers okay discard any negative numbers now how to discard any negative numbers that if any number which will be uh, below uh, let's call it loop until yeah uh, positive number is greater than zero yeah this is it this is our validation. Average is also required to be declared. Okay, no problem. Because value is being stored after uh, dividing, so we declared it as real. Real is known as single in Visual Basic. Real means that the uh, average may contain a values with the decimal portion, numbers with the de decimal portion. So it's different. It's declared as single. Okay, so. Uh, our pseudocode is also a bit changed. We know that uh, do means repeat. Okay. And um, loop until means until. Until um, POS NUM is greater than zero. So that's it. This is the pseudocode and uh, the program of that pseudocode is here. The benefit of having this program is we can actually run this program and we can have a look how values are being changed and being shown here. So let's try to run the program. Let's run it line by line. Okay. The benefit of running this program, you can also learn the tracing as well, which is also part of your syllabus. For example, you can also see the values being changed here, actually. Uh, the line of uh, control is right now here. So if we're going to move forward the line of control and uh, run the instruction line by line, uh, it will going to ask us for the input. Now, we're here right now. So input the very first value. When we will run this instruction, it will ask us for the input. Let's give it the value 10. And um, now right now in POS, you can even hover your mouse. You can even like put your mouse over the variable and you can see the value. Or you can also see them in uh, the trace tables. The values are being changed right now in POS and UM, positive number, it's 10. So this 10 is greater than equal to zero yes it is so this value will be accepted we move forward and after moving forward the value will be added to the total the counter will be um like it will be counter is equal to counter plus one loop until positive num is, is equal to zero no it's not zero so this do uh sorry this do and this loop until We'll make sure that this loop, this this set of program is like keep iterating until POS num is, is equal to zero. So as soon as you will going to input zero inside this variable, it will be out of the loop. Right now it's not zero, so it will go up and it will going to input again. Now this, this part of code is also within a loop. There the validation is being done. Uh, let's try to give it some other value. Uh, let's try to give it a minus value, minus two. Uh, inside the POS is now minus 2. It's minus 2. Minus 2 is greater than is equal to 0. No, it is not. It will go back and it will loop again. And it will keep looping 
exactly here till I will keep inputting these values. So as soon as I'm going to give it some positive value, it will be accepted and it will, because the five is greater than equal to five, this condition will be true. It will get out of it. This can be a plus five add ho jayenge. Pichli value can that that is 10. Counter plus one ho jayega. This means we have two numbers that are added. Let's try to give it one another number. Let's try to give it a value. Let's put it in there. And it will be accepted. It will be included in the total. Counter is equal to counter plus one. And um, now let's give it zero. Uh, zero is accepted because it's greater than is equal to zero. Zero as is not greater than zero, but it is equal to zero. So it's been accepted, including into the total. Now here counter is, you know, counting the zero value as well. You can see that counter becomes four. That is the reason here we have written counter minus one because um, whatever the number of values that you will going to input, we do not want to include the zero in our counter. So it, it should be like counter is equal to counter plus one makes it four. But we know that we we added three numbers, three positive numbers that uh, are required to be uh, calculated because zero is just to it's 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 a rogue value. It's been entered just to end the output. So average is calculated and shown on the screen that is 6.5, 6.5. You can see it has around 6.5. So program is ended. Now um, let's try to have a look and. Have a check that if the program that we were trying to do right here, yeah. So this is the uh, pseudo code that we have done executed, and we have saw that it's working perfectly fine. And this is the pseudo code which uh, is here, but we have to omit the errors. All right, so try to omit the errors. Um, So total, total is equal to zero, counter is equal to, so this is the very first error that we can see, it should be zero. Repeat and repeat, this repeat until is for the, uh, for the validation. Input, we have uh, input, pause num, they have used the variable num, that's fine, until num is less than, no, it must be greater than zero, greater than is equal to zero. So that's the correction. So two errors, error number one, error number two, total is equal to total plus positive number, num. It's a pretty common error. Most of the time they just mention, uh, mention such errors. So omitted three errors. Counter is equal to counter plus one. It should be one. So this is four errors. Until num is equal to zero, average is equal to total of error by counter minus one print average rest of the program is correct so total counter should be zero uh, until num greater than is equal to zero total is equal to total plus num these are the most common errors like you people can easily take them out total will will never be like including one it will it, it must be including some variables of value with it counter is equal to counter plus one always one will be included in the, in, into the counter so these are the common errors which you can easily omit and um, this is it guys for uh, so on for the conditional loops we have uh, learned today how to uh, write the pseudocodes using conditional loops uh, we have also done um, the programs which uh, are required to omit errors using fixed numbers we have uh, at least we have done uh, how to write down the programs using the pseudocodes uh, pseudocode using fixed number of inputs. So um, I recommend now you just go through the booklet which is provided you, uh, this particular booklet. Solve all the questions, try to omit all the errors. Please do this. Uh, I'll ask, I'll double ask you people that have you done or not. Uh, and then I'll just uh, try to solve as many questions as you can, especially try to omit the errors. Uh, 
try to solve the questions like this one uh, and like this one like these these are the normal abnormal extreme values they are required to be discussed so try to solve these all questions and i'll come back to you in the next class i'll announce the time and i'll definitely ask that how many questions that you have done from this particular booklet so all the best see you guys very soon